and welcome back to another season of Scottish football as we head into the 2019-20 season. The first action I'll be bringing you this season comes tomorrow when we head to Stirling to see Stirling Albion play Hibs and then on Sunday we head to Paisley for St Mirren vs Dunfermline. I'm certainly looking forward to this season both for my club and to see how the full SPFL season shapes out over the course of the next 10 months. But for the first time this season, do I do it? Do I not? <coughs> um, hmm. Ah, stuff it. Bring on the action. And just like that, I'm back dressed into my normal gear. Obviously, that is to kind of kick off the 2019-20 season being officially dressed back in the sort of big match attire because that's now the kind of regular scene that will be on this channel for the next 10 months as I said because the 2019-20 competitive football season is a way to start. Of course the friendlies were the kind of starting point for the full season but in general the competitive stuff is what we all really care about and Europa League qualifiers are happening now so the competitive stuff has sort of pretty much started but the Betfred Cup is obviously the first thing for the vast majority of SPFL clubs starting this weekend or even tonight as Dundee United play Hearts at Tynecastle. So it's a really interesting season coming up. Obviously there's a lot of different teams that will be vying for different sort of places in Scottish football. Obviously you've got the two Dundee teams fighting possibly for promotion from the Championship back up to the Premiership. Dundee United looking to finally get their way back into the Premiership after a few years down in the Championship. Dundee looking to bounce straight back up. And then there's various other Championship teams that will be vying for those promotion places alongside the Dundee clubs. You then have the bottom end of the Championship which is looking likely in most people's minds to be involving Arbroath and Alloa. But there's always a wee curveball chucked in there so don't be surprised if you find one of the bigger teams in the league or at least one of the teams that you wouldn't have fancied to be down there, being down there. And I do kind of put my own team to filming in that, but I'm going to go in with an air of positivity and say that we won't be involved in the relegation playoffs this season because we got close enough last season, and that certainly did they feel nice. In League 1 and League 2, certainly in League 1 you've got a lot of bigger teams involved there now, or at least teams that will be wanting to push on and get back into the Championship. No more than Falkirk, who obviously now find themselves in Scottish League One alongside another rival of Dunfermline, Wraith Rovers. And speaking of those two teams, I was highly requested to do a League One kits video and League Two, but I don't think I'm really going to have the time to do that within this month at least. So I'm just going to review Falkirk's kit and Wraith Rovers' kit. So Falkirk's kit is on screen right now, and I know that we're rivals and stuff like that, but I'm literally just going to review a kit like I would have reviewed anyone else's because at the end of the day, the rivalry doesn't really come down to what the kit looks like, to be honest. It just comes down to on the pitch and the fact that I want them filming to beat Falkirk every time we play them, and the same goes for Wraith Rovers. So in terms of reviewing the kits, I'm just going to review them like I would have reviewed St Mirren's kit, for example. Just a bog standard neutral sort of opinion. And... I do think that Falkirk have done a decent enough job with their kits this season. They've got, obviously, the navy blue colouring and then the white in the away kit and the navy blue kind of trims on the away kit as well. So, in terms of the colour schemes, they've probably done really well in regards to that. The only thing that actually irks me a bit is in that home kit, the Puma logo is red and nothing else is red in their kit. So, that's the only bit that actually gets on my nerves a wee bit. Even on the sleeves, they've got the kind of silhouetted, like, Falkirk Town sort of thing, which is a nice wee touch as well. And overall, Puma are obviously the kind of suppliers for this kit. I think they've done a decent enough job with this one. So, aye, Falkirk's kit. Let's say a solid 8 out of 10. Maybe 8.5 out of 10. And then Wraith Rover's kit. I put up a tweet when this officially got released on Twitter and stuff like that, I think it was last week, and said that it was a lovely kind of tribute to the fact that they're in League One now when they've based their kit around the seaside. As you can see in that photo, it's sort of like waves and even their wee introduction video when they were kind of releasing the kit out to the Twitter masses, 
they had the seaside in the first sort of image. It's quite funny, in my opinion, but I digress. Their kit is quite different, and at least it's a bit of a difference rather than just like a plain, like, light blue slash navy blue kit. I'm not entirely sure what Wraithover's colours really are, but it's a nice enough wee kind of change. You could say it's close to a training kit more than a actual home or away football kit, but I don't know. I'll give it a 8 out of 10 because it's a decent enough effort for something that looks a bit different, but it's not exactly the most like exciting looking kit. It's just a few waves on a strip. And before we head into the talk about the whole Premiership scene, because obviously that is a high talking point in Scottish football in any football season, I'm going to talk about Morton and more specifically a Morton fan whose birthday it is today. So happy birthday to Chrissy's Morton TV. Hey guys, it's Chrissy's Morton TV here and welcome back to another video. He has been a feature on the channel through predictions and stuff like that, but also in the video I did about a month ago, a month or so ago, when I talked about YouTube channels that you should be subscribed to within Scottish football, he was included in that. And now it's his birthday, so an even bigger incentive for you to go over and hit the subscribe button on Chris's Morton TV's channel. So, there you go Chris, happy birthday pal, and all the best. And now, as I said, heading into the Premiership talk. I'm going to kind of keep it short and sweet because there'll be a lot of chance for me to talk about the Premiership and the rest of Scottish football. But obviously we're now talking about the Premiership, there's going to be loads of chances for me to talk about them in the next 10 months. And I'm really looking forward to this season, as I said. The Premiership is going to be very intriguing to watch because Rangers really need to go for a title this season. They really need to win something, but a title to stop, what, 10 in a row or 9 in a row, whatever one Celtic are coming up to, I think it's 9 in a row. And obviously to stop the continuous dominance of Celtic within Scottish football. It's going to be so important for Rangers as a club but then also Steven Gerrard and his possible future at Rangers because I think if Rangers don't win anything in this coming season, Steven Gerrard will be off next summer. That's just my opinion. But in regards to everyone else in the Premiership, there's going to be a lot of the top six teams kind of vying for the Europa League places again. Obviously you've got your Kilmarnocks, Aberdeens, Hibs, Hearts and even a team like Mullerwell and St Johnson and that pushing for that top six place. And... You might even find a spanner in the works where one of the teams that are regularly featured in the bottom six really pushing for the top six, even if that's just in the first half of the season. Because we've all seen what Livingston did at the start of last season where they were pretty much pushing for top six up until Christmas and then it all came barricading down. So it will be really intriguing to see what type of surprises are gifted to us in this Premiership season because they're certainly bound to be loads. As far as my prediction videos goes for both the Scottish Premiership, the Championship and I'll give slight wee predictions on the other leagues as well but in terms of when they'll come out, they'll come out after the Betfred Cup campaign or at least the Betfred Group Stage campaign has happened so at the end of this month I'll release those videos to you and let you know what my predictions are for the upcoming season because as I said it's going to be intriguing and I think some of my predictions might be intriguing to you lot as well so just wait out for them, as I said, end of the month, that's when they'll come around. And as far as my season goes, I'm filming Athletic, I'm expecting a very, I know I said yesterday in yesterday's video that I wanted to stop using the word interesting, but it's the ideal word for our season. It will be very interesting to see how this young team can fare in the upcoming season, and if it'll just be a kind of standard mid-table finish, which is actually what I'm expecting from us, or if we can push the boat out and get into the promotion playoffs, or, the worst case scenario, going into the other playoffs, the ones that we don't want to be involved in. Or even worse than that. I simply can't see it, but you can never rule out anything in football because it's just so unpredictable. We've seen that with the Championship last season and in the past few seasons as well. It's been one of the most unpredictable and competitive leagues within Scottish football and definitely one that loads of people will be watching out for in the coming season as well. But aye, that's it for this video guys, cheers for watching, if you did enjoy it please give it a like, comment down below your thoughts on the upcoming season, 
What do you think is going to happen this season? What do you think teams like Rangers should be heading for this season or any team within the SPFL? Even if it's making your brief predictions so far, let me know what they are. Also, subscribe for more of this content and until the next video, which will be the first episode of the big match for the 2019-20 season when I head to Stalin Albion v Hibs tomorrow, I'll see you then. Cheers guys.